So I recently watched a video from Vicki Make Some Bills, Vicki Clifford, and in that video she explained how to tape large piece, large puzzles in sections so you could store them for later assembly. The tape she used looked very sticky. I wasn't sure that's really what I want. I have a green painter's tape here. So I did this smaller 500 piece puzzle as a time to time myself. I thought since it's done, I'll put some tape on the back of this, try it, see what it's like, pull it off because my large puzzle I have downstairs, my New York City puzzle, I want to tape it and assemble it all, but I want to be able to take it apart and possibly resell it so I do not want to damage or tear a whole layer off the back. So I want a tape that's going to stick, but not stick too hard. So I'm going to try it on this puzzle and see how it goes before I try the big one. She told me I needed tape and make sure you got scissors so you can cut it nicely. So we'll do that and see how it goes. Okay, so I put a couple strips of tape across the back of this puzzle. I don't want to put too much. I don't want to use up all my tape in a test. I think this will give me a good enough idea what it looks like. So I put it on, pressed it down as hard as I could, and leave it for a little bit, then come back and pull it off and see what it does to the back of the puzzle. Okay, the tape's been on the back of this for few hours. I pressed it on really good. So now I'm going to peel it off and see how it, see how it looks. Well, if you look carefully, it comes off easy, but it takes off a little bit of the film of the blue. But the Ravensburger puzzles are quite, quite a bit of dust and stuff. So if I look carefully at the back here, like it it didn't peel off a whole section of the cardboard or a whole layer of the cardboard. No, it just peels off. It looks like a little bit of dust. Doesn't damage the puzzle at all. That's good. So, peel off the last one here, see how it looks. Oh yeah, same thing. Just takes a little bit of dust. It doesn't damage the puzzle. So now that means I can go downstairs and I can start taking apart my big puzzle and tape the back of it in sections and store it so I can do another section. So at least this worked well and now I know I can move on to that. So we finished. I have here my first panel of my New York City Robin's Burger 32,000 piece puzzle. And is this corner right up here. Probably a better look here would be right here. That's what we have here. Now I wish to start this section, the one below it. But in order to do that, I need to do something with this. Found a large piece of cardboard, thought I'd try that, laid it over top. Didn't like the feel of it. I like my table. So, now what to do? I watched a video from Vicky Makes and Builds on how to tape sections of large puzzles. So, I'm going to take some of her advice, not quite all of it, but some of her advice, most of it really, and I'm going to take this apart into sections, tape the back, and store it until such time as I get the whole thing done and can assemble it as one large piece, one large puzzle. First thing she said is you need a place to store it. She was storing hers in... Was, this is the box from my Educa entering the bedroom puzzle. That's what she's storing hers in. I don't like the size of it. It's quite small. So I'm actually going to store mine inside the box it came in. As I remove the bags, I should have a little more room to be able to store them on the bottom. So I did a bit of measuring, and I found that I can divide this into 
three, or pardon me, six pieces. Three pieces high, two pieces wide, and they will lay nicely inside that box. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to break this into sections. It's going to take me a little bit, but break it into sections, then see what I can do about flipping it over. That being the only challenge with bigger pieces is how to flip them over. So I think I'll start by breaking it into sections and see how that goes. Okay, got them all apart. I was going to set the camera up and do a time lapse. Set the camera up, but forgot to put it on time lapse. So it gave it at regular time. 30 minutes or whatever it was. No, I'm not sure it was that long, but far too long of something quite boring. So I just deleted that. So anyway, we're into six sections. Now is the tricky part. I've got to find a way, get some cardboard, whatever it is, and find a way to flip these over. So let's see what I can come up with and see how I can do that. Now comes the scary part of this operation. I need to take each one of these pieces and slide them onto some cardboard. I cut a bit of cardboard here. It's a little long, but I think it's uh, and a little wider, but I think it'll do the trick. So now I need to try to slide one section onto this, sandwich it between the two of them, and try to flip it over. So I'm going to see if I can manage that okay. Okay, let's give it a shot. Right on the edge of the table. Got one on. Okay, one on, no damage. Now, according to Vicky, she says sandwich it right in the middle. I'm going to try it this way. I did. How did it work out? Ooh, got it, but it almost got away on me. So, might have to listen to her on that one. Okay, one is done. Now, I think maybe I'll tape this and get it out of the way so I don't have to. Then I'll do the others after so okay we got one taped so now let's see if we can flip it over without any pieces falling out it was also recommended to try not to bend it too much and move it too much as you could still damage the pieces so let's just see if we can do this here Tape all looks good everywhere. Slide gently. Oh, that worked quite well. One done. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Now, gotta do five more. them all taped all six of them stacked nicely all ready to go into the box not sure where my tape measure is just a oh way over here grab my tape measure here and let's just do a quick check on the box size before I just to make sure I didn't mess up it's the wrong time to do the measuring, not after the fact, but let's take a look. Okay, they are 27 inches long by 13 and a bit wide. The box is 15, so that's plenty of room, and it is 30 by Well, 15 inside, so yes, they will fit nicely. So now, the next thing to do is to clean all this off, take this out, take out all the bags, store these gently in the bottom, and then take out the bag for which one I'm going to do next. Good morning. Back in my giant puzzle room again this morning. 
our weather's turned kind of nasty. We were, can you believe it, four or five days of around 25 degrees. Woke up this morning and says it's minus one. So what that means is it's a good time to puzzle. So bring you up to date as to where we're at. Uh, my first section on my large New York City puzzle. I took and broke it apart into six sections, taped the back, and now they are ready to store. I have cut, broken them apart in a size so they will fit back inside the Ravensburger box. So what I need to do now is to get the box over here, take all the bags out, get the completed pieces in the box, and then find another bag to do. As you know, this is the bag from the first section. It is very important to keep it because of the product number on there in case of a replacement piece. We have not found any. We weren't missing any pieces in section one, but we do have one somewhat damaged piece, so I will wait and see how it goes and then maybe, probably, will then get a hold of the Ravensburger and see if I can get a replacement piece for the one slightly damaged. If not, then I'll just have to glue it back together. Just one little nub is sticking up. I want to keep this puzzle in very good shape in case I decide to sell it when I'm done. So, let's get the puzzle over here on the table. <clears throat> There we go, hope you can see that. Move a few things, get my coffee out of the way so I don't damage the puzzle. Mm. When it's minus one, warm coffee is the best thing in the world. Okay, it's taken. Don't wanna move these around too much as I don't wanna damage them or I don't want them to come apart on me. So just move these to one side. Okay, we've got the box here. As you can see, let's open it up. Okay. Come on, you. All right, there we go. The lid off. We still have seven bags inside, so we will need to remove all of those. <clears throat> out a bit of dust in the bottom of the box not too bad now I needed to I needed to keep this out and this material here as it gives me information on if I have a damaged piece and not what to do about it or a missing piece so that being said now let's take and Let's place this in, let's place this in the box. See if we can get this in without too much trouble. It fits nicely, which is very good. Which is, which is the right side up. This is the right side up on this one. Oh, one piece fell off. Put that back in. I have to be very careful with this. Now I want the bottom piece next. Okay. All right. No pieces fell out this time. Now 
Well, a little tight getting it in the box. I was hoping to make it a little bit closer to the size of the box, but I'm glad I didn't, or I would have an issue getting it in. This works just about perfect. All right, section one, safely stored in the box. So now, the next thing is, we still have, this being our poster, as you can see, we still have seven sections to go. So what next? 